Hi everyone, and welcome to uh, Music Tip Tuesday. It's been a while since I've done one because I've had a lot of things going on, but I'm going to do one today. So I have really cool news. I got a brand new instrument in the mail. It's called a euphonium, which we'll probably hear more about later. Um, but today, I thought it'd be really good to talk about buzzing. So this is a mouthpiece for euphonium. That's what you saw in the picture. Uh, and this is what you would put your mouth against and buzz into to make the sound of the euphonium. I have a lot of friends um, who have kids who are the age where they're starting to do uh, school band, and they, they have kids that are interested in doing a tuba and trumpet or trombone. <clears throat> And they asked me, you know, hey, should I go out and get them this instrument? You know, the band class doesn't start until next year. And what do I think? I always say, get the mouthpiece. You can get a mouthpiece at most music stores um, at varying prices. It depends on the music store. Um, but if your child is interested or if you're somebody who's interested in playing brass, the very first thing you need to be able to do is buzz. So to do this, first things first, we use this. This is our embouchure, which just means our lips the way that we use our lips. We're gonna tighten right here on the corners, right? And we're gonna keep this nice and loose so we can buzz. I know, it sounds like nothing without the mouthpiece. It's actually really hard to do without the mouthpiece. Um, the circular shape of the mouthpiece helps you to hold the lips in place. So what you're doing again, putting your lips against the actual mouthpiece, tightening it up, not so tight that the lips can't move, because the lips have to vibrate. That's how we make the sound. Oh, oh. I know, it's a beautiful sound without an instrument. Uh, <laughs> but really, uh, getting used to buzzing is is the idea. Now, using that buzzing, um, if your child is having a hard time doing it, maybe they don't want to do a brass instrument. But if you're having a good time, or your child's having a good time doing it, um, what you can then do is have them try to play a scale with just buzzing. So believe it or not, we can actually change our lips to change the sound of the buzz. <laughs> In fact, that's a drill that I have a lot of my euphonium players, because I'm a euphonium teacher also, uh, do to get used to that feeling of control over their actual um, embouchure. If that is going well, you can also add the arpeggios. Now this might take a little bit more work because you have to get used to hearing what it sounds like and feeling how the lips feel. So this is my video on buzzing. Again, all we did, we took that mouthpiece. Just to recap, we tightened the edges of our lips so that they were nice and tight. Uh, we kept the actual lips nice and loose so we could actually buzz. Put it into the mouthpiece. Um, and that's how we do the buzzing. So I hope this gives you kind of an insight on um, what it is to play a brass instrument and a good way to start to make sure you want to actually learn the brass instrument by you know trying out the mouthpiece and buzzing. Um, couple quick little pointers. Number one, your lips will feel funny <laughs> because think about it, they're vibrating. So they're going da -da 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 -da. So it gives you this weird kind of tingly feeling afterwards. That's okay. If you're playing too loud or too hard or too long, um, your lips do something called blowing out where they won't vibrate as well. Um, and that might actually have a little bit of a sting to it. So that's how you know if you did too much or too long. Um, another good thing is if you are somebody with dry lips, which I am not right now, but usually in the winter, um, in the middle of winter, like when it's really cold and snowing, my lips dry out, um, using chapstick is actually really good <laughs> to keep you um, from, well, I guess it's called lip balm. I'm sorry, chapstick is a brand. Um, it keeps your lips from drying out so they don't crack while you do the, uh, do the buzzing. So those are a couple little tiny pointers. Um, all right, well, that's it for today's Music Tip Tuesday, and I will see you next time, and have fun buzzing. Bye.